Hi everybody and thanks for watching. This is my video on a look if you are, have been sick for a few days and now it's time that you need to return back to school or work but you're still feeling down in the weather or under the weather. And this is the look I created and hair uh, style that I did. I did this, um, I was actually sick like this whole past weekend and I just was like not feeling makeup. I just wore BB cream and you know really simple neutral eye for me at least. <laughs> Um, and I really, you know, not to bold out their lip and just, you know, some rosy cheeks just to kind of give some color back to my face. And if you want to learn how I did this look, then just keep watching. Thank you. You don't want to get makeup in your hair, especially if you're out on the go. Or if you're going to work or going to school, you don't want to have to take the time to get the makeup out of your hair. So the next thing that I do is I already washed my face and, you know, exfoliated and I put a chapstick on. So I'm going to take the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts. Um, replenishing rich moisturizer and I'm gonna put that all over my face because if you've been sick and you know all of that your skin has probably not been too happy with you like as you can tell mine isn't I'm pretty red right now and I've got a few um, zits and things all over here um, so you just want to put a moisturizer on just to make your skin um, a little more replenished. I'm also going to go in with the Clear Cell Ultra Rapid, Rapid Action Vanishing Treatment Cream. Um, this is going to be for, you know, the acne and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just going to put it on. And it's going to be under my makeup, and that's okay. Um, you know, just one of those things that you got to do sometimes, don't you? Um, okay. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Prestige Flawless and Ready BB Cream, and I have it in light. And I'm going to be using a BB Cream today instead of a foundation because a BB Cream is going to be a lot um, less heavy on your face, and it's going to let your skin breathe a little more as well. You know, if you are sick, you don't want to be, like, sitting there all day thinking, like, oh, I have, like, this, like, 5,000 tons of makeup on my face because foundations can be kind of heavy. Uh, but first, actually, what I'm going to do is take the Milani eyeshadow primer. I'm going to put this on my eyelids so that my makeup will stay. You're just going to go ahead and take your finger and just put that all over the eyelid. And take a little more. Uh, this is a really good dupe for the, um, is that the Too Faced Shadow Insurance? I've used both, and I kind of like this one a little more. Um, it's cheaper, which is helpful. <laughs> um, so now we're going to take the Prestige Flawless Ready BB Cream or Beauty Balm. Uh, this has SPF 15. It, it just says Flawless and Ready Beauty Balm with SPF 15, Broad Spectrum Protection. Um, it's oil-free, talc, and paraben-free. It's dermatologist-tested. Um, it says it doesn't really have... What it's supposed to do on here like most BB creams do but whatever that's fine I guess I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and put it on the back of my hand we're gonna start out by just doing a little bit at a time because you don't want to over put makeup on your face you can like put a little bit at a time that way you don't um, over you know cake up your face because you really don't want to cake your face when you're sick because then you know it doesn't really help you don't want to cake your face no matter what and I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and on a uh, angled stippling brush or an angled brush and then just start dabbing it on my skin. And a BB cream is good for any time that you really don't want to wear a lot of makeup because it's not going to be super heavy and just kind of, you know, sit on your skin. You can use a primer with it, um, which I probably should have done first, but I'm going to need more. And then, you know, just keep adding to your face and your the makeup on your back of your hand. I put it on the back of my hand. You can do it whatever way you want it. You can dot it all over your face first and then buff it in with a brush or you can do it on the back of the hand like I am right now. And you're just gonna want, I'm kind of using like little tapping motions and you know, instead of rubbing it because with a brush, if you rub it, you'll get the brush strokes. Sometimes it kind of depends on your brush really. Um, but with this one, I've noticed that that's what it does. And you don't really want brush strokes all over your face. And if you dab it, it kind of does it a little better and so I'm just dabbing this into my skin all over my face it's a pretty good cover it's a pretty good color match it's not too dark compared or not like you know I'm I'm a orange face but I got a pale neck and you also do want to put it down your neck just kind of blending though 
um, just in case it is a little off because not all makeup is obviously skin colored and even the ones that try to um, blend into your skin aren't going to exactly do it unless you've got like flawless perfect skin with no um, flaws or anything. And I'm just going to add a little more and then I'm going to go move on to my forehead. I do the same thing all over by just dabbing it and dense brushes are um, good for foundation and stuff. This is um, a contour brush uh, by Beauty Secrets I believe uh, but it works just as fine as a foundation brush. I've been using it as a foundation brush and it works pretty well and you just kind of dab it all over make sure you get all the spots so nothing's left and I think we're looking pretty good Okay, so next step I'm going to do, oh, I've got some left in my hand, um, is we're going to do concealer because that's one of the important things is when you're sick and you're trying to brighten up your face, you definitely, um, that's what you want to do when you're sick is you definitely want to brighten up your face and make um, you look a lot healthier even though you're still like down the weather. Like I am actually right now getting over a cold. Um, I've had a cold for a past couple few days and um, I'm just trying to make myself look a little more healthy than I feel. And I'm using the Ready Set Gorgeous Cover Girl Concealer and I'm just doing triangles underneath my eyes. And this is really gonna brighten up your under eyes which make your face look a lot healthier and like you're um, more awake as well even though you're probably dead tired because you're like sicker than a dog. <laughs> um, and you're just gonna, I use my finger and I use my middle finger and I just kind of like tap it into kind of like exactly what I was doing with my um with my brush just kind of stippling or doing padding motions and then as you can kind of see already it's really brightened up my under eye and made it a lot um less with my dark circles and uh, all of that you just kind of want to keep tapping it back and forth and you can use ring finger you can use a brush or a beauty blender if you happen to have one or a sponge uh but I'm just using my fingers because I feel it moves the product a little easier and it's a little smaller than trying to use um, my big brushes or my foundation brush that I use because it's kind of a big boy. And I'm just going to keep doing that and I'm going to do a little concealer down my nose because my nose is still a little red. going to let this kind of like sit we're going to move on to my eyes and the two palettes I'm going to be using today are the Naked Basics by Urban Decay and the Naked 2 by Urban Decay and what I'm going to do first is take the Urban Decay Basics and we're going to take um, Venus and I'm going to put that all over my lid I'm just going to take a brush and you just do it all over because you're really also about um, a neutral eye when you're so I'm trying to go for today is a very neutral eye and I'm not going to try and do a smoky look or like a colorful look. I'm just trying to um, make my eyes look a little more inviting and not so like I'm a zombie that I'm, you know, I'm so sick. And next I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to take Faint by uh, in the Naked Basics palette and that's going to be my transition color. And that's just going to kind of make... Um, the shape of my eyes a little more out there. Um, it's kind of like shape your eyes up and deepen your crease just so it's not all one color. Because you do want a little bit of uh, something to your eyes even in a natural look because um, you don't want it all to be so one toned because it's going to make it, you know, make your eyes pop a little more and not have people focus on your, your crusty nose because you've been blowing it all the time or, you know, it's runny or your chapped lip because you've been sick so much. And then, good. Okay, so next what we're going to do is I'm going to take an angled uh, an angled brush like this. I'm going to go into the Naked 2 palette. And I'm going to be taking Snake Bite. And I'm going to be putting that in my corner, or the, the crease, to uh, just like deepen it up a little more. Just make it a little more defined. I 
like so. Okay, and then I'm also going to go back in with this brush and we're going to go into Veer by in our Naked 2 palette. And we're just going to put that over where we put Venus from the Basics palette. And if you don't have this palette, that's okay. You can just use any shimmery shade, any basic brown transition shade, and again, you know, any sparkly or not sparkly, but... Um, shimmery silver shades that you have obviously you don't have to use this palette you don't have to use any of the products that I used in mine I'm just showing you with the products that I have and their suggestions and if you do want to um, get these products you can get them at Ulta and I will do a haul of what I bought because um, I got all these products for this tutorial and next I'm going to be doing my eyes or the rest of them. I'm going to finish my eyes and what I use is again really brightening up your face and brightening up your eyes is going to make you look a lot healthier. I'm going to be using the NYX Slide On Glide On definitely a turn on waterproof extreme shine eyeliner and white and that's going to go right in your waterline and your waterline is the is right above your uh, lower lash line and a white or a nude is going to make your eyes look a lot bigger than a black because a black's going to make them a lot smaller and make them um and with my eyes they're already small or they already look small enough and so with the white it really helps and there you go for the eyes it's kind of easy and if you don't want to do that that's not a big deal it's just a step that I use to make my eyes look brighter I'm not going to tight line today because um I don't want too much focus on lashes. I'm going to take an e.l.f. eyelash curler. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And with um, when you're curling your lashes, you don't want to just hold it there. You want to kind of pump the eyelash curler because uh, then it'll kind of just move everything instead of just having it do once. And then I'm going to be using the NYX Stacked Mascara. And this is what the wand looks like. It's got two sets of bristles. Oh, you kind of can't see that. That's cool. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. This is a really good lengthening mascara. And then it's got shorter bristles as well. And that one you can kind of get in. Oh! Got it on my eyelid. That's okay. If you get it on your eyelid, if you get happen to get mascara on your eyelid, what you can do is wait for it to dry and then go in with a Q-tip and just kind of like um, wipe the Q-tip against your eyelid and it'll just kind of have the stuff flake off. It's a really neat trick if you don't want to like destroy the work that you already did. Ow! Okay, definitely just stab myself in the eyeball. Oh! Ow! <laughs> Okay, moving on. <laughs> and you just want to keep putting it in your lashes. And it's a lengthening mascara and a volumizing mascara. Lengthening is going to um, also kind of just open up your eyes and make you look a lot healthier than you actually uh, are feeling. Because I know for me, a lot of people, if they look at me, they can tell I'm looking sick. And I'm like, oh, great. That's not like what I want. I don't want you to be like, hey, you look sick. Uh, and so then my eyes are done. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just set my foundation because I have my concealer kind of let it um, kind of hang out and chill for a little bit. I'm going to be using the NYX HD Studio um, Photo Powder or Finishing Powder. I'm just going to tap a little bit into the lid. And then I'm going to be taking the Real Techniques, um, Real Techniques setting brush. And I'm just going to be swirling my brush around in there and then tapping off the excess. And we're just going to set our under eye concealer. Because you don't want your concealer to kind of go away um, or crease on you. So it's really important to set your under eye concealer. And using a smaller brush rather than like a large brush is going to be really helpful. And I really like this one from Real Techniques because it gets in there nicely. And I'm not going to be using the um, this powder for my entire face because it kind of gives a white cast. But it's really nice for under eye. What I am going to be using is the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And this is just a mattifying powder. I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. And we're just going to go ahead and tap that all over. It's important to set your makeup because then it won't 
um, move on you, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. And I'm just going to be tapping this all over my face. And I'm not going to worry about my eyebrows because, I mean, if you're sick, you don't want to be dealing with them because you're just like, whatever, I have to go to work. I don't want to be working right now, but I have to. Um, and then the blush I'm going to be using today, Bourgeois Pig. I'm not a fan of the name, but whatever. And I'm just going to be using this rounded top brush and this is by BH Cosmetics and you're just going to tap it off and just put it on your cheeks you're just trying to give yourself a little bit of color because we all know sometimes when you're sick you can get look a little pale and that's how a lot of people can tell you're sick it's just like oh look you look so pale and you're like oh thanks for reminding me thanks for I'm, I'm sick I know okay so I just brush it on and then I'm done. I'm not going to do any highlighting because um, I, f I don't feel like I need it right now. So the last step for me for the makeup look is going to be lips. And I'm going to be using this Revlon um, Ultra HD Lip Lacquer. And this is in Petalite. And it's just a pretty pink, peachy pink. And it's just a lip gloss just because you don't want too much going on. When you're sick, really, because you don't want to be, like, putting a lipstick on and then worry about lip liner and doing all that. I did put a chapstick on before just to kind of put a little more moisture into my lips. And you're just going to kind of brush it on like you would any other lipstick or any other lip gloss. And it just kind of gives your lips a little shine, a little more moisture to them even though you are sick and it doesn't like bam I'm wearing lipstick or bam I'm wearing like a bright lip gloss it's a really soft color okay so this is done for the makeup look now I'm going to show you um what I would do what I did for my hair is I just put it all on one side like so next thing I'm gonna be, or what I'm doing is just brushing my hair and just making sure that there's no tangles or snarls and like I said I'm going to be doing one giant side braid. So what you're going to do is take your hair, you're going to make it like you're going to be doing a braid. You're going to do three sections. Here I'll turn so that maybe you guys can see that a little better. And then I just braid it a little bit just to kind of try and get it started. And then you're just going to start French braiding. Which you take a section and you braid it in. You take another section and you braid it in. You just keep adding sections, really. That's all you do for this hair look. This hair look, this look for your hair. same thing the whole time you just keep braiding and then I'm gonna take this last section right here and I'm just gonna put it all into the braid and just continue and braid it down you just braid down to the very end and then I'm gonna secure it with a little rubber band basically you're just gonna put that in your hair like so and then if you choose to, I like to just put um, one bobby pin where the hair is kind of looser in the back so it doesn't fall out. And then you're all done. And that's um, my look for you're sick, but you have to return back to school and work. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.